Hi, this is Ray Edwards once again from autorespondeemailsecrets.com and in this session I want to look at um, um, some principles uh, and criteria that you can use when you're choosing an email service provider. Now, it should be considered an online marketing sin for any company to send um, a, a, a carbon copy CC or BC emails to their customers or prospects. The standard email applications such as Outlook or Yahoo, they were not designed for such volume sense. So to send emails in volume would require an email marketing service that is designed not only to send in bulk, but provide advanced email services without technical knowledge on the part of the user. Uh, once you have passed the hurdle of convincing yourself that you need to employ more effective email marketing technologies, then the question becomes, well, how do you choose from the many service provider options that are available to you today on the market? Now, here are um, 10 principles that I think would um, do you well if you, uh, in, in, in choosing such a service. Number one, um, you, 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 sh you, you should use a, a service that complies with the current email laws. A legitimate email service um, provider will ensure that you are complying with the can spam laws, which require you to include your business physical address and an unsubscribe link in all your emails. The email service provider, they hold the final responsibility for any email that is sent from their company servers. And so they cannot afford to be lax here because this oversight will affect all their clients. Um, compliance with these laws must not therefore be an option. Um, number two, um, you should use a service recognized as a bulk mailer. Now, because of spam laws, uh, many ISPs guard their servers by limiting the number of emails that any account holder can send out in a specified period of time. So, bulk mailing often signals spam. It is the responsibility for the email service provider then to keep in layers or with major ISPs to ensure that their emails are not filtered as spam. Now, many ISPs will filter your email if the from and the to addresses do not match the domain they were sent from, which is a case of any email service provider. So, the email service provider must then vigilantly keep his service from being blacklisted as a spam source. Number three, you should use an email service provider who stays up to date with the latest technology. Now, one of the greatest advantages of using an email service provider that you don't have to maintain the software and uh, the software that is behind the mailer. If you were to buy and install a script, every update would become your responsibility. So why should you use a service which provides no timely updates to keep current with the latest practices such as tracking and deliverability? So you want to benefit from the specialization of such a a service without having to worry about the details of how your emails get their intended get to their intended des destination. Most serious email service providers are members of industry leading organizations um, who fight to keep email marketing viable um, for, for, for your company. Number four, um, you should use an email service provider who offers list management and hosting features. Now, your list maintenance is critical to your marketing success, and this is only as strong as the service you use to manage your list. Common list functions include list, segment, list segmentation, sign up for new subscribers, easy unsubscribe, and the ability of the subscribers to maintain their own profiles. The service should be able to handle bounced emails in the background, so, so it would be a transparent to the user while logging the reasons for um, the bounce. Number five, you should use a service provider who can track your email metrics. Now, tracking is an important part of any marketing campaign. If you are blind to the results of your emails, then you'll be wasting advertising dollars with the added pain of, um, of, of not knowing just where they are being wasted. Um, you should be able to log basic metric, me metrics such as email open rates, um, click-through rate, and deliverability rate. Now, additional reports would keep a record of the number of emails sent, the dates, the number of new subscribers, unsubscribes, 
and your spam complaint rate. All of these metrics will help you to improve your future campaigns. Number six, you should use a dummy proof service. <laughs> now, many people can become intimidated by setting up an email campaign, which is a technical uh, um, step above sending a normal email using a service like Yahoo. Now, in choosing a service provider, you want to challenge your um, you want to challenge your technical skills as little as possible. So, an email service provider should make the user interface as user friendly and intuitive as possible and their support staff should be doing most of the heavy lifting so you can concentrate on crafting your uh, email campaigns and not on technical support. Number seven, um, you should use a service provider that can handle multiple email formats. Now many email service services can only handle text format. While some subscribers may prefer text format because of email client limitations or other reasons, this option should be available to the marketer. If your email service provider can send in multiple formats, then you will be reaching a wider range of your target market and your email is less likely to appear um, like scrambled code to your text-only subscribers. Number eight, use a service that makes you look good in an inbox. <laughs> if you're providing the option to your subscribers to get their emails in HTML format, then it is very convenient when the email service provider offers templates which you can easily cut and paste and customize with your company's logo and color. Rather than requiring HTML skills, just a few edits can make you look professional to your subscribers. You can also have the option for complete customization from scratch if you have the HTML skills on staff. Number nine, um, use a service provider that adheres to professional email standards. The professional service provider will automatically include your address and an unsubscribe link in every email that goes out from their servers to ensure spam laws compliance. The company should also provide a newsletter or blog to keep users up to date with the latest emailing best practices and what's working for similar businesses to theirs. The bottom line is that the service provider should care about the bottom line of its list. Then number 10, you, shall, you, you should use an email service provider who can ensure higher deliverability than you can get as an independent user. One of the great disadvantages of running bulk email services on your personal mail server is the challenge of keeping your server um, IPs off the many blacklists. Rather than using in-house resources in maintaining relationships with ISPs to make sure your domain is whitelisted, um, this comes as an included service uh, with a professional email service provider. Now, if you follow these 10 criteria uh, when choosing an email service provider, then um, you'll discover the real power of email marketing. And, and, and can now dedicate your time to promoting your products and services rather than worrying if your marketing message is being heard. Is being heard.